Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no much, depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news updates. Again, court acquits Abians over terrorism charges leveled against them because they are IPOB members. Now, the Abian people or the residents of Abia State, three of them, yes, David Onyema, Uchadiele, and Victor Azaya has been unjustly arrested. Yes. On February 18, 2021, these guys were arrested on account of who? Oh, they were people members. Apple members. Police unjustly arrested them. Yes. Uvazilos Nigerian police. In Omaya. In Omaya. They were arrested. They were labor terrorists. Terrorists. Because they were IPB members. Now listen. The media will go and say, oh, People were accused of being IPB members. That was why they were arrested. No, listen. People who have said all Igbos are IPB members. Nobody is denying the fact that he's an IPB member. Nobody in the South is denying it. They are all IPB members. So if the court discharged these people, they were discharged and they put it on account of that IPB is no terrorist organization. Understand this point? Yes. So now they have been discharged and acquitted. Yes, by the courts in Omaya. So, as they were arrested in 2021, they were arraigned before Justice Chido Makama of Court D on five count charge bordering on conspiracy, armed robbery, unlawful possession of firearm, and terrorism related offenses. Now, look at the offenses and the punishment the police told the court as stipulated in sections 6B to 2A. 2 1 of the robbery and firearm special provisions act cap r 11 laws of the federation 2004 and section 16 paragraph 1 and section 21 of the terrorism prevention amendment act 2013 so now we think police that use these guys innocent people because they are agitating for their freedom iwane when they were jail now the 11 judgment on october 24 that's tuesday after 33 months of detention, incarceration, torture in police or in prison, as they call it, correctional center. That place is no correctional center. It's prison. Nigerian prison is one of is the worst in the whole world. Nigerian prison. So it's no correctional center. People who have gone there and come out, they become hardened. So they have stayed there for 33 months in that place. So but they have been discharged and acquitted. Yes, this the three of them. Now the court said that police failed to prove the charges leveled against these guys, as there was no material evidence the prosecution presented. That's the police. Before the court to justify the frivolous charges. Yes. So that's what the court said. So David Onyama, which I did and Victor Azaya. Yes. So what are we not talking about? What we are saying is this. So that people understand the whole, the, whole, the whole situation that these guys have been acquitted because they are no terrorists. They are not terrorists. That's why the court acquitted them. The police failed to prove their point. There was no material evidence like the court have said. Yes. So it's not the issue of they were not or they are not IPB members. That's why they were discharged. No. They all the citizens are happy members, all Biafrans, all Igbos, they are happy members because this is indigenous blood of Biafra. You understand? So, they are all members. But what we are saying is this, that the court have said to the be member of IPOB is not a crime. You are not a terrorist. The evil regime of Buhari Buhari proscribed IPOB unjustly, illegally. No due process was followed. The courts, they are all aware. These courts, they are all aware. So those who are honest and firm enough to dispense justice without fear nor favor, okay, they will attest to it. And that is what they are doing. This is not the first. In the last couple of weeks, we have seen many discharge and acquittal of those who have been accused of being terrorists on account of being IPB members. What is this is telling us? It is pointing to the fact that the prescription is quite illegal. The court has been dabbling on it. 
they will fix a debt, they will postpone again. Yes, they fixed October 16, on March, that they fixed October 16 to uh, make judgment on the case of prescription of the IPOB. Of course, in IPOB appeal, that the judgment of the Federal High Court. You know? So, that appeal has been there. The Federal Government has been sitting on it. On March 2023, they said they, fi they fixed 16th of October for it. Uh, yet, when we approached the 16th of October, they, 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 they navigated again. Yes, they said nay. And so, what I want to say, so we are telling the international community to understand from all these court judgments, you have been seen that the IPOB was illegally, unjustly, and hurriedly prescribed in Nigeria without fully due process. Talking about those international communities that have realized that IPOB is a notorious organization, of all the blackmail the federal government under Buhari Buhari was pushing to the international community trying to blackmail IPOB. The, the international community said no. They never accepted Nigerian stance on IPOB as a tourist organization. They were carrying fake uh, uh, you know, statements, rumors, trying to convince the international community that the IPOB is a tourist organization. Yet they refused. The international community said no. Even the GTI that mistakenly did that last time, they, after two weeks or thereabout, not more than two weeks, they reconvened and said no. After reviewing what they have done, they said, look, they delisted IPOB immediately from the list of terrorist, terrorist organizations in the world. Immediately, they reviewed and said, no, this is they are blackmailing IPOB from Nigeria, the government. And so all these things that are showing that IPOB is a noble organization for freedom of their people. And they have been doing that peacefully and with regard to the laws of the land and international treaties. Simple. So anybody who is attacking IPOB, one way or the other, you are going to get hurt. Because the people who are polluting the face of the IPOB, like I've said before, they are people who have known the international laws. Mazina Makan is guru when you talk about international laws, convention and treaties, particularly when it comes to you know self determination activities. He is good there, so he will not try to make any, you know, mistake on that. So, but the federal government, they are the one who, because of their ego, because of their belief that, oh, their might is right, because of their, the, 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 the way they have been looting the resources of the country, and they have destroyed it then, and they want everybody to be, remain there, forcing people to remain there, where they loot the resources of the people, of the, of the masses and the people. And so, in that there, they, 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 they are movement like, oh, we are desperate people. Because they are desperate. They are desperate. So they wouldn't want the beer fans to go. Yes, yeah, soldiers. So that's why international community should prevail on them to allow the Igbos, the beer fans, to have their referendum. Because those who are looting, destroying the economy, look at their naira. 1,300 per dollar. So, these people, they don't want people to have their freedom. So it is the international community that will come, see what is happening in the country, see the level of killings, kidnappings. There is war in Nigeria. This international community is not aware of this thing. That there is war in this country. They know. They have to come and do something. This referendum is very important. People are talking about other, other climes and countries. They forget that there is problem in Nigeria, and the only thing that can solve that problem is referendum. People will go their separate ways. United Nations owe people in Nigeria, in this contraption, a duty. A duty to come and save their lives. They are being killed on daily basis by gun, by bullet, hunger. 